All right, man. Pulse TV back with another man. I'm out here with y'all. See, y'all see that dude behind me right now, man. Y'all see that dude, man. Look. So he home or whatever, man. So we finna try to put out some footage. We're gonna put together about three videos for y'all today, man. So need y'all to do. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with somebody, man. Look, I'm gonna let him plug in all his social media. We're gonna do this on all the videos. I'm gonna let him plug it in. And uh yeah, man, so drop your stuff, man. What you what you what's your YouTube? Alright, uh, I think of YouTube. Man, hey, listen, man, he don't know his own YouTube. He YouTube is Ramondez Stevens. R A M spell your name, bro. Well, see, no, R A M O N D E Z Stevens with a P H forty four eighty. That's okay. my that's my username. Okay. All right. What's your uh, drop your Instagram? I I I'll tell you what. I get his Instagram off Instagram his call. Right his Instagram right here, man. Let me show y'all the Instagram. Show y'all the Instagram, man. Man, don't even know his YouTube channel, man. What's up with you? All right, man. We're gonna get into this video, man. Y'all just stay tuned. All right, man, before we really get into this video, I just got to start off by saying this. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this in all my other videos, but we, this is a new tradition. Before we get started, God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. Well, now that we got that out of the way, we finna get into the video. All right, man, I'm going to show y'all this, man. This is uh the owner of this Mustang. This is his little brother's car right here. I don't think he got a YouTube channel, man, but this is what he's putting together. Well, a four cylinder. Uh, he turned it into a V8. Uh, had a five, five oh in it. A little cam in it. Real clean. Actually, man, the brother, the brother and the daddy. He didn't. He didn't paint his, but he painted the brother. So he painted this one. It is a little dirty right now, but I'm pretty sure y'all can still see it. But I hate to do this, but if y'all see that, it's dirty. But man. Still look good. I don't remember the last time they probably watched it, man, but they put this one together from a fossil on the swap. They ain't done with it yet. But uh it sound pretty good. Let's see if I can get them to crank this one up too, man. For y'all. And uh yeah. Working on this one. So Alright man, we got the other one started up, man. Let me let y'all hit it. Yes, sir. Y'all, y'all, you painted this one, there you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my pop's bridge. They, they actually painted this one, man. Just a few questions, man. So we're gonna get started. Uh, so, first question, man. How, how, how did you end up with this car? So, uh, I was like 16. Uh, so, my dad, I, I, I got in the car because my dad was in the car. He had another one like this, but it was silver. And he had he also had this one, but he didn't, he didn't really have much time to mess with this car like this. So, he ended up giving it to me as a as a gift, like for Christmas. So I ended up I had it ever since then, and I just I just been making modifications to the car since then. All right. Uh, pretty sure people know about the paint job on the car. Who painted it? And yeah. what is this the original color of the car? Yeah, uh, this is the original color, but it was painted. Uh, I had it painted by my uncle. Uh, Jim's painting body shop on Houston Avenue in Macon, Georgia. He painted it. Uh, my car was enough for about a year, but I, I think it was worth it. You know. All right. The next question is: uh, the people want to know about the engine. Let's talk about the engine. Engine and any upgrades you've done and what anything you plan on doing. Uh, engine is a 302 base motor. It's got uh, aluminum heads and pretty hefty sized camshaft. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I pretty much built them all from scratch. Uh, got H beam rods. Uh, still got the stock cranking now. And other than that, I had to, after I built the motor, I was pretty much, like I was beating on it so much that I, I tore the first, uh, first transmission up, so I had to get it rebuilt. And I ended up putting a, a rebuilding my own rear end myself. I put a 373 gear in it. What do you plan on doing to it later down the road? Like, what's your what's your next setup for? So, my next next setup is gonna be a. Uh, I want to maybe step up to to a stroke. I still want it to be 302 base. You know, I don't want to change over to 351. Uh, it'll be like a 331 or 347 or something like that. You know, I still haven't really figured out you know heads or piston compression and all this stuff. Plan on putting any boost on here anytime soon with this motor, your next motor? Uh, not this motor or the next motor, but I actually, I want to build a motor after the next one. And that's that's the one that I want to be boosted. But of course, uh, you can only run so much boost on the stock, stock block. So my plan actually is to get like a, a dark block. Just, you know, so it can pretty much take whatever I want to throw it. Okay. Uh, and let's go and get the start up on this thing, man. Y'all, we finna, we finna uh, just get a start up on it, and that's gonna be the end of this one, man. If y'all got any questions, I drop his YouTube, and he dropped all the information at the beginning of the video. And once again, that goes Instagram. Y'all just follow him, man, so you can put the content out.